Dallas City Council members are concerned about a deal that puts money reserved for the most impoverished at-risk residents of funding a four-star hotel. Fox Wars' Lori Brown has the story. Lori. Clarice, the owner of the new Lorenzo Hotel in the Cedars, can't make a $500,000 payment to the city. The city manager is now going to ask HUD if it can defer its payment. But Dallas City Council members are not happy with the whole arrangement. Uh, just wow. Wow. Again, using CDBG funds for a hotel is really concerning. That reaction from two Dallas City Council members Wednesday evening questioning the city's decision to loan federal housing money to the developer of a four-star hotel. The Lorenzo Hotel did turn what used to be an abandoned eyesore into an artistic landmark. The developer talked about it with the city council back in 2013. This is going to create a dynamic entry point to the southern sector from downtown. And while it did do that, the owner says the hotel is now in financial trouble. We really need help. I mean, this is a bloodbath for our hotel and all hotels. About seven years ago, the city took out a loan from HUD and then loaned the $11 million to Larry Hamilton, a well-known hotel developer. The city also provided grant money with tax dollars intended for economic development to help repay that same loan. But now even that is not enough. It's horrible, you know. Occupancy at the Lorenzo is running at 7% compared with 70% a year ago. But Hamilton admitted the pandemic is not the only problem. Basically, um, with, without the pandemic, you wouldn't be needing help making this payment right now. Uh, we probably still would. The, the, uh, the, it was an overly aggressive uh, payment schedule. The city's economic director believes that city staff at the time did not have an underwriter vet the deal. Staff and I have been looking for the underwriting report. We have not found one. Councilwoman Kara Mendelson says it is concerning that block grants are being used to back up the loan. So over $5 million that's meant for people in extreme poverty in our city will go to pay for a four-star hotel. Is that right? And if the city defaults on the loan, city staff warned that HUD does have the ability to seize those grant funds. Mr. Blue, would you please look at my eyes? They are real big on this deal. I am really from just public rec public statement. I am taken aback by this particular deal. Dallas City Council members voted to allow the city manager to negotiate to defer the payment for seven years if HUD will give the OK. But another half million dollar payment will be due early next year. Clarice. Lori, thank you.